First at 10 late tonight, the solar eclipse is five days away and as many people make plans to view it from here or in the path of totality, local cadets are preparing to help NASA with important research. The Air Force Academy says it'll help the Air Force and Space Force better understand solar winds. 11 News reporter Jared Dean is live in the newsroom and 19 cadets are going to Texas and Illinois to study this eclipse. And what they could find could be very valuable when it comes to the future of satellites. The Air Force says the U.S. lost 40 Starlink satellites last year in 2023, and they say it could have to do with the relationship between solar winds and the Earth's magnetic field. We're taking data with the eclipse and studying it so that we can share that with NASA and so that we can help other people learn about this eclipse. On Monday, many people across the world will see a total solar eclipse. The path cuts through several states across the country. In Colorado Springs, you'll see partial coverage, about 67%. This demonstration from NASA shows what the sun will look like in our area. I missed the 2017 total solar eclipse. But cadets like Quinn Miller and Ty Stromberg will be watching this year's big event from the path of totality. We've been planning this probably since the last eclipse in October. They're packing up their equipment now as a part of a group of cadets from the Academy's Physics and Astronomy Club. They'll travel to both Illinois and Texas with gear to analyze the eclipse and report their data to NASA, all to help research aimed at gaining a better understanding of the science that might lead to some satellites going down. It is officer guided, but completely cadet run. So we do all the nitty gritty, like we plan, we okay. execute and everything. For a solar event that could have important implications. Our solar telescope and then the uh, DSLR cameras have solar filters on there and of course as long as you're not looking directly at the camera and through our equipment your eyes will be safe. Peak time here in the Springs is around 1239 in the afternoon. If you plan on viewing the eclipse make sure you do it with the proper eye protection. Live in the newsroom, Jared Dean, KKTV 11 News. Pretty cool event coming up. All right, Jared, thanks.